Steve, the founder of the highest paid part-time job in the World Options Training Academy. Really quickly, want to go up, come out with you with this news. So we see that Musk, Elon Musk bought 9.2% stake in Twitter, making him the largest shareholder. Really quick article. We found out this morning because uh, information has to be filed with the SEC. Anytime you buy 5% or more of a company's shares, uh, that Musk bought, let's say, a little bit less than 10%. You know, a little bit higher than 9% uh, in Twitter, right? And they said that the stake was worth $2.9 billion. Now it's worth $3.5 billion after the, the share spike on Monday once the news came out. So I heard about that news this morning when I woke up. And there's some information on maybe Musk is going to try to maybe take an activist stake inside Twitter. Or maybe he will attract people that also will take an activist stake because he's in the deal. A lot of times that attracts other bigger name people because they may feel like, you know what? There's going to be a change in the way this particular uh, direction of the, of the board is going to go. So let's get on board. And what we saw this morning is that, you know, this is the chart for today. Looking at the 30 minute candles, open at 49, close at 47. And then we just started building up off that platform. Um, it's not as bullish as I would anticipate. And so I would I would really encourage people to really make sure if they're trading this, they kind of understand what they're trading. Because we're not getting a big parabolic move. We got a big gap up, but gaps a lot of times get filled. So there's a lot of area between the close here, which was around uh, 39, and what we opened up today at 49. So it's almost like a $10 gap. Okay, most gaps normally get filled. So potentially Twitter could come back down to close this gap. There's no telling when that's going to happen, but we're not getting a massive parabolic move. We are getting the options chain starting to build up a lot of momentum. And that could cause an impact later on this week and maybe even next week. However, why do we think Musk is buying into this particular deal? And this is just my own analysis. It's not investment advice. Understand that Tesla does not run ads. Musk needs access to Twitter. I forgot how big his audience is on Twitter. Let me see. Can I find that real quick? He has 80 million Twitter followers, far more than any C CEO. And we know that Tesla doesn't really run ads or they don't run traditional advertising. Musk needs these platforms to continue to promote what he has going on, to keep attention around the company, things of that nature, right? And this is pretty much how he's built the fan base around not only his uh, company, but also his stock. And he doesn't want to risk the fact that maybe one day he could wake up and his Twitter account could be banned, and then he got to try to build it all back up. Now, it wouldn't take him a problem if he had to try to get a new Twitter account. He'll be back at a few million within the same day once everybody figures out where he's at. But what I think he's trying to do now is get a position in Twitter where he can now kind of offset or hedge them kicking him off Twitter because he's such a big shareholder. Right. And they don't they probably don't want to insult a guy that owns almost 10 percent of uh, the company. And I think that's the reason why he's doing it. So he figures the billions he has to pay to get in. That's going to be worth it long term because I need Twitter as an advertising platform for what I have going on. And that's really what you want to try to understand. So that's just my personal opinion. I don't think he's buying into Twitter because they're just this really valuable asset. I don't think he's buying into Twitter because he wants to protect free speech. I think he wants to protect his free speech. I don't really think he's that concerned about your free speech. However, he's doing this, in my opinion, because he needs to make sure he has a platform that he can continue to broadcast from to talk about what he has going on because Tesla does not do traditional advertising to advertise their offerings, their services, things of that nature. So really, really quick video. Wasn't going to be long. I didn't want to talk in circles for 30 minutes about this particular issue. David W. Williams, also known as Diamond Dave, I'll talk to you later.